Hey, what's up? Today I'll be looking at this air quality detector I got from AliExpress. All right, let's get to uh, unboxing it. So, okay, yep, yeah, nothing really holding it in. It is Tuya Smart, so you can use Smart Life or Tuya uh, to well see this on uh, your phone. Here is the device, packed in pretty gently. Let's see here, there we go. Very simple. Ooh, it's got a little screen protector too, so we can just peel that off. Oh, that's very nice. Very nice. And, all right, I guess. Can we turn it on right away? Is it dead? Does it need a charge? Definitely needs a charge. All right, so we'll come back after I give it some juice. So I've plugged it in to a uh, USB C, and uh, we'll give it a, a boot. Let's see here with the power button. There it is. Okay, there we go. Maybe I wasn't holding it long enough to begin with. So, all right. So it's on now, and it's. It's doing its thing, but it needs to be paired to uh, Smart Life to see it in Google. So you can see it's blinking over there, uh, and I guess that blinking means that it's charging. So overall, seems all right, I guess. Uh, I'll pair it, and we'll take a look and see what that looks like. Okay, it took me a minute to figure out, but I read the instructions um, like a normal person, and apparently you're supposed to press the power button five times after it boots up to put it into pairing mode. Okay, we're in the Smart Light app and we're gonna try and pair the device. So we'll go retry here. And it's found the device, we hit add. All right, that's my Wi-Fi information, which I've carefully blocked out and we hit next. And it's being added. And there we have it. We have the uh, current levels, and we can see it hasn't collected a lot of data, so we'll let it run for a bit, and uh, I'll see if I can find some source of carbon monoxide. Um, Maybe I'll take it down into the car park. There should be something. It shouldn't be zero. I feel like it should be like one. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not that well versed in uh, carbon monoxide. So maybe it's supposed to be zero. Maybe that's good. I'm not sure. I'll have to do some reading. My initial impression is um, I'm a little concerned by the temperature readings. They are increasing. Uh, the gap between this uh, temperature sensor and this one here. Um, is quite a bit, and I think it's because, one, the screen is always on, and two, it's charging. So this thing warms itself up, which isn't what you want from your thermometer. You don't want a self-heating thermometer, making this a bit inaccurate, uh, to say the least. Um, the other stuff I assume is fine, but I really don't know. And of course, humidity is going to be impacted by the relative temperature, so... That kind of gets thrown out the window, too. I thought I'd check how hot the device actually is. So here's how hot my uh, little sensor is here. 26, but we pointed at this, and it's 41 degrees. 36 at the top. So this thing is definitely radiating heat. Which, again, you don't want your thermometer to radiate heat. Okay, so uh, I've just let it sit for days and days, and yeah, it's always warmer than ambient. Uh, it is logging, it is working, it does its thing, but the problem is that screen uh, generates heat, um, and it doesn't run very long on a battery either, so it needs to basically be uh, plugged in and charged. So, eh, it's not great. It does do its job though, and yeah, carbon monoxide should be zero, 
I did go to the car park. Uh, it didn't even trip down there, so I guess that's good. But I have really no idea if it's working because I just don't have a whole bunch of CO uh, that I can pump into my room and, you know, asphyxiate myself by mistake. So, you know, there's that. Um, I guess that's a good thing that it's zero. I hope it's real, though. Uh, everything else, yeah, it seemed to go down when I went into the basement. The CO2 jumped up to 600 and... The, you know, HCO and TVOC went up a lot as well. So it seems to definitely respond to uh, its environment. Overall, it's a neat little thing. Would I pay $40 for this again? Absolutely not. It's um, the inaccuracy and the humidity and temperature sensors make it kind of useless. But I guess there's other devices on there. It's a neat toy. Uh, but in reality, it's not very practical. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next review. Oh, yeah, and uh, one more thing. Um... These do not show up in Google Home, so you'll need some sort of other home automation solution to use it uh, in tandem with uh, other devices like from TP-Link, right? Um, I don't even know if it can be used for automation in uh, the Smart Life app. So yeah, there's that. All right, bye.